uh, I'm going to presume that you would never prosecute someone you thought was outright innocent. Correct. In this case, did you reach a conclusion that this man was outright innocent? That conclusion is not reflected in my report, sir. Right. So you did not reach that conclusion or it would have been in your report. I viewed my task of explaining my decision to the Attorney General as being based on my judgment and my assessment right. of the evidence, would a, would a conviction at trial be the probable outcome? And, that's and, and, and I, I just want to make sure the record is complete in that because I think it's extremely important. You did not reach an idea that he had committed no wrong. You reached a conclusion that you would not prevail at trial and therefore did not take it forward. Is that correct? Correct, Congressman. So this lengthy, expensive, and independent investigation resulted in a complete exoneration of President Joe Biden. For every document you discussed in your report, you found insufficient evidence that the president violated any laws about possession or retention of classified materials. The primary law that you analyzed for potential prosecution was part of the Espionage Act, 18 U.S.C. 793E, which criminalizes willful retention or disclosure of national defense information. Is that correct? Congresswoman, that is one statute that we analyzed. I need to um, go back and, and make sure that I take, take note of the word that you used, uh, exoneration. That Mr. is not a word Kerr, that I'm going to continue with my questions. I'm going to continue with my questions. I know that, that I the term. I ultimately reached I know that whether the term, sufficient evidence existed such that the likely you outcome you, you exonerated would be a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful that retention has a. Mr. Hurd, it's my time. Thank you.